I made a giant Mr. Beast circle, and if Mario can survive 100 days without stepping out of the circle, then he will win 100,000 coins. Jump into the circle, and the 100 day countdown will begin. Let's go! The countdown begins, and Mario has to survive for 100 days. There's nothing here! There's nothing yet, but look at that in the sky! Look, Mario, I'm using a crany crany! This house has everything that Mario needs to survive for 100 days. Hey, the door! It's locked! I can't get into this house! Luckily for Mario, he's a video game character, so he doesn't need any food. Mario, what are you going to do with the 100,000 coins if you win? I love my family! I'm going to buy my wife a nice vacation! Well, Mario, you have a chance to say goodbye to your wife for now. Good luck, Mario! Thank you, Maria! Mario has to find something to do for 100 days to pass the time. We're constantly watching Mario the entire time, and if he steps out of that circle, we will see it. Mario, what do you think the greatest challenge is going to be? I'm so determined that I can't imagine wanting to do something and not being able to do it. If you have control of your mind, you have control of yourself. Wise words, Mario. Since Mario was in a circle with a locked house and nothing else, he decided to plant a garden to pass the time. We don't know where he got the seeds and how everything grew so quickly, and how can a cactus even grow here? It's a day of seven now, and I need to do some exercise to keep my mind busy. I'm going to do 100 push-ups, 100 squats, and run a 10 kilometers every day. Yahoo! You might have heard of the marshmallow experiment. It's one of the greatest predictors of lifetime success. Experimenters put kids into a room with a marshmallow and said that they would be right back. The kids were told that they could eat the marshmallow right away if they want, but if they waited until the researcher came back, then they could have two marshmallows. Delayed gratification is one of the most important skills that you can develop if you want to reach your goals, and right now, Mario is doing what a lot of the kids in that study tried to do. They tried to distract themselves and keep their minds busy so that they could get a better award at the end. Things were looking like they might be a little too easy for Mario, so it was time to set up a few small traps for him. Oh no! What's going on? We sent a nice shipment of Goombas over to Mario, and when they were dumped off of the platform, they were a little dizzy and all over the place. Mario has to be careful because the Goombas might defeat him, and even more importantly, they might actually push him out of bounds, and he'd be eliminated if that happens. Mario is making great use of his house over here, and luckily none of the Goombas landed on the roof, and he's able to capture some of these Goomba stacks and take them out easily. When Mario goes into the largest Goomba stack, he takes a nice long look around him, and he's a little worried about what might be in store for the rest of the days. Mario is now one quarter of the way through, so we wanted to give him a nice treat that he could enjoy today, so we brought him a special event. Mario, you have four turnips, and for each turnip that you could throw into this pool of water, you get an extra 10,000 coins. Yahoo! Let's -a go! But you have to be careful to not accidentally cross that line because you know what happens. For the first throw, Mario inches up to the line, being scared to get too close. He jumps, throws the turnip, and it doesn't make it. Any extra 10,000 coins would be a really nice reward, but it is so risky because Mario doesn't want to go accidentally out of bounds. Mario decides to go for a triple jump, throws the turnip at the top of the triple jump, and dives back quickly before he passes over the line, and he makes it! This turnip is in the water, that's 10,000 extra coins for Mario! That jump seemed a little risky, so Mario thinks that he's going to have to think outside the box for this one, so he tries to get the turnip up onto the roof. Mario lines up, jumps, does a triple jump, and throws the turnip from up high, and that lands in the water again! One more turnip to go. Can Mario nail the final throw after getting it onto the roof? And Mario nails three out of the four turnip throws. That is 30,000 extra coins for Mario if he can survive to the end. Mario continued his exercise routine, and it is now day 50, so we have a special offer for Mario. Mario, if you step out of the circle right now, you can walk away with 10,000 coins. What? No way! I'm not going to do that. How many coins would we need to offer for you to leave the circle right now? Uh, 500 million. But Mario, you won't even get that many coins for staying here the entire 100 days. If we offer you anything more than 130,000, then you should accept it right now. That doesn't make any sense. 
500 million right now or I'm not going. It looks like Mario wasn't budging with this offer, so I wanted to set up a few small traps for him to make the rest of his days a bit more difficult. Wakey, wakey, Mario. Lots of bullet bills are being shot out at Mario from all sides of his house. There's nowhere safe to go, so Mario makes it back up onto his roof. And after a lot of blasts from the bullet bills that were shaking up his house, Mario's house is eventually destroyed. Now Mario has to run around while avoiding these bullet bills without the safety of his house. With a lot of jumping and a lot of damage, things were starting to look scary for Mario, and eventually, like a little cat, he climbed up safely into a tree. Alright Mario, we'll get rid of the bullet bills now, and we'll see you again in another 30 days. What? What am I going to do for a 30 of days? Mario got back to work on his garden and on exercising since he had nothing else to do. I tried to make a fire, but I don't see a fire bro here. So Mario, what else are you going to do if you win this money? I'm going to pay off my debt for my college degree that I was tricked into a thinking would be a useful. Now that's what I call responsibility. Yahoo! One of my favorite lines in the original Mr. Beast video was, money's the thing we trade our life for. Giving up a third of a year of my life for half a million dollars. Make sure you trade your life for things that are worth it. Man, does Mr. Beast make great videos or what? What a great person they had in that video. It's just a few days to go now. I'm going to survive. Those coins are going to be a mine. So we have a present for Mario. We are going to surround this circle with toads. I'm toad! I'm toad! I'm toad! I'm toad! I'm toad! Turn order! Turn! People might think that I would have trouble sleeping with this noise, but this is the sound that I use to fall asleep to. Some people like the sound of a thunderstorm to fall asleep, but I like the voice of a lots of toads. But there's still another challenge for Mario. He wakes up to the sound of bullet bills and charging shots and fire bros everywhere. It looks like it is a dangerous time because Mario is so close to the end now. He has almost succeeded. And when things become the most difficult, when you most feel like giving up, that's when it is most important that you keep going. And everyone who has made it this far into this video, please leave a comment saying Mr. Beast is amazing and add lots of emojis. I don't know if he'd ever see this video because I'm just a small YouTube channel that's only been doing this for a year or two, but he is doing so much good and my next charity live stream is going to be for Mr. Beast Charity. He has done so much good for the world and he is a huge inspiration. So after this barrage, Mario makes it to the final day. Okay, it's the final day. I can hear a lot of the people now outside. Everyone, let's do a countdown for Mario. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mario, you can now step out of the circle. Are you sure? Yes, Mario, it has been 100 days. If you enjoyed this, I really recommend you watch my video where Mario has 100 mystery doors, but only one lets him escape. It is my most popular video. Thank you so much for watching. I love making these videos. I hope you all have an amazing day, honey. And take care, everybody. Oh,